Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Artsy Trio. This month, I was gonna say week, yes I was. This month the mood board is done by our dear Mike Deacon and I love a good color challenge. And in my mind, this is a one color challenge. Um, when I do one color challenges, which I do occasionally on my channel, I don't consider black and white the color. Um, the color is the other thing. Um, and the black and white, I usually allow myself to use ad as additives to the main color. Um, so I kind of think of this as a one color challenge. That's where my brain is at with this. I'm also fascinated by the geometric patterns in this. And the fact that it's orange, which fun fact is not one of my favorite colors. So we're gonna start off by gluing this down. I should have grabbed a glue stick and I forgot. Um, and then we are going to take a variety of things. I tried to pick at least a few things I haven't used lately. I do have a bunch of distress crayons. I don't use them very often. To be honest, they're one of those things I probably should purge because I don't use them. Um, but let's try them in this instance. I do have three orangey colors, although this rusty one might be more on the gold side. Um, I found some black and white washi tape and some orange washi tape. Um, we'll talk about why I have that. And I found black, white, and orange paint, journaling paint. I use a matte finish acrylic, either a matte acrylic or a acrylic gouache for journaling because it dries very matte and flat and it doesn't, doesn't stick when you close your book. Um, so we are gonna use these items. I did also, earlier I was um, doing some pulling of parts for my downstairs journaling kit and I ran across this collage image. And for some reason it needs to be on today's page. I can't explain to you why other than it has a little bit of terracotta e orange color in the pot? Question mark? I don't know. So anyway, we're gonna see where we can go in this. First, I'm gonna grab some glue and then we're gonna get started. Okay, first thing, let's glue the mood board down here on the opposite side of the page. I think we're gonna work on the tan side this month. This is sort of an experiment journal. I started quite a long time ago now. And for the most part, we do our artsy trio videos in here. I've done a few other things in here, but mostly I think it's Artsy tri Trio. I think after the first couple of experiment pages, yeah. So that's all right. Okay, now I think that I want to mask off a border. Now, if, like me, you sometimes try this and then you can't get the tape off cleanly and it rips your paper when you're done, um, get it hot, use a heat tool or a hair dryer and get the tape warm and it'll loosen up the adhesive and then it should come off cleanly. You can also like put that tape on your shirt and get some of the sticky off. Okay, it's kind of straight maybe. I just bumped the camera, didn't I? thing I want to do is cut this down and make the image a little straighter because you can tell I just hacked at it with some scissors to get it out of the magazine it was originally in. I don't know why, again, I don't know why that needs to be on there, but it does. Um, I thought we would start by doing a checkerboard, and so I'm going to get a pencil, which I happen to have right here because I've got a nightmare of <laughs> abstract watercolor painting stuff to the left of me. Um, but I do need a ruler. And let's see, 
if this one is big enough. Yep. Okay. I want to mask, I mask off. I want to, yeah. So we're gonna do one inch increments. Okay, and then this is four inches, so. That was a happy accident. I didn't intend on that. Okay, so then we're gonna just draw some pencil lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. And Lord knows when I get to painting, it's probably not gonna be because, you know. Even with the lines, I'll probably still mess it up. Now, if you have a checkerboard stencil, use that. Hey, Mike, there's a stencil idea. <laughs> I don't want to make it, but there you go. Okay, now let's paint each square white or black, um, alternating our colors, and see where we go from there. That's less than perfect, but that's okay. We're gonna go back and touch up a few spots. Alrighty, not perfect, but I'm okay with that. I brought, got a stencil. This is actually one of my stencils. I don't make stencils anymore, um, but when I did, this was called Single Cell, 
and um, I don't know, maybe I'll think about making them again at some point. If you're interested, leave a comment down below. All right, I am going to pick my orange, which is orange medium. Looks to me off camera as more of a salmon color um, than orange, but, and I'm gonna just pounce. Pout, maybe pounce and scrub. We'll see how that turns out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, that works for me. Uh, we'll put that there for right now. Um, let's dry it again. Okay, I think it's time to add our plant. And as I'm doing that, I will tell you, I never create with a plant anymore. Sometimes I'm inspired by a mood board, like when we do our artsy trio videos um, or a color but I don't, I don't plan. I do a lot of things just by feel, how it feels, um, or how I feel about looking at an image. Um, I just follow my, in my artistic instincts, whether they lead me in a good place or not. <laughs> uh, sometimes not, but you know, it is what it is. All right, let's... Do we want to get these out yet? I don't think so. I think we want to do washi tape. If I can find the end. Some of these washies I haven't used in so long. Washi doesn't last forever. And it starts to do that. And you know, it's funny, I have a plant on here and Mike has two things in his mood board that are from nature. They're not plants, but it, one is a snake and one is a bird. Interesting. So now we have these. The question is, what colors are they? <laughs> because I have no idea. Oh yeah, yeah, orange. This one is spiced marmalade. This one says rusty hinge. I have a feeling this one's too gold. Oh, no, maybe not, okay. And this one is carved pumpkin. Wow, that's orange, okay. Where are we gonna put these? I have no idea. I think that one was marmalade. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and then I'm gonna move it around with a damp baby wipe. I 
I do forget how easy these were to use and how nice it is to add shadows with them and highlights and stuff on your journaling page. See, this is why I still have them, because I think, oh, maybe I should purge them. I never use them. Then I do use them and go, oh, yeah, okay. So anyway, if you have that feel that way about some of your art supplies, just know you're not alone. Okay, now we have this really bright <coughs> pumpkin colored one. Let's put the lids on these other ones because we used them already. Uh, okay. Um, You know, I know I said orange isn't my favorite color, but I kind of like where this page is going. Plus, it's always good to challenge yourself kind of artistically. Um, I am feeling the need for some green, so hold on. Probably helpful if I do this with my reading glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing. You could, of course, do this with a paint pen. Just simple shapes, simple leaf shapes, simple curvy lines. When you're painting nature, it's not about being perfect because nature is not perfect. Nature doesn't have straight lines. There's a piece of fuzz hanging off my brush. Okay, let's take a little bit of the black. Why? No idea. I'm just following my instincts and I'd love to see you all do the same thing when you're working on your journal pages and in your artwork. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, um, the RC Trio does have a Facebook group that you can join to not only get a copy of the mood board and follow along with us, but to get help and ask questions. Um, you can also find me all over social media. There's links for all kinds of stuff down in the video description. I really like that 
Do I want to need, I don't think we need any more orange. Okay, I do think it needs words because 99% of all my work, well, I shouldn't say that. 99% of all my journaling work has words in it. I have gotten to where my other work does not have words. But anyway, that's for a different video. Ooh. I think that, I just picked that out right away. Okay. That's it. I guess I should make sure everything is dry first before I try to get at, the glue, at that with the glue stick. One little journal, collage journaling tip. I do always use a glue stick anymore, and I use the lid to smooth it down. The lid works great. Just like that. There you go. I like that. I don't know why I like that, but I do. Smeared the paint a little bit, but that's okay. I am going to make some notes on the other side, and I'll be right back. There you go. I wasn't sure about this one when I started because as I said earlier, orange is not my favorite color. And this was a big experiment. There's a couple of boo-boos on the page, but it's not intended to be, you know, perfect. I don't do perfect. And I do love the way it turned out. The addition of the green, in my opinion, just makes a pop. What do you think? Anyway, I'd love to see what you can do with this month's uh, mood board and please go watch Bea and Mike's videos and give them a thumbs up uh, Like share and subscribe all three of our channels if you will we'd appreciate that Check out ways to support the free content down in my video description They also have ways to support their content. You can check out their video descriptions I even have patreon and a private Facebook Facebook chat and my patrons have a private Facebook chat a uh, YouTube channel. So anyway Think about it all right, that's it for today. Don't forget to uh, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.